guys, we're back. We're going to be talking about the principles of design. Um, last week we talked about the elements of design, and so now the elements are kind of the ground rules, um, and then the principles are more like the guidelines of how to use these kind of ground rules that we've placed out. So balance, emphasis, and harmony are the three that we're going to focus on today, and we're really going to look at how those elements can represent balance, emphasis, and harmony. So let's get started. So the first one we talk about is balance. Um, these are really quick. That's really great. So hopefully this is a short video for you guys. But when we talk about balance, we're talking about when a design or a garment, a pattern on a garment, any of that, um, it's in balance when the space is on both sides of a kind of central line, whether it's real or it's an imaginary line, um, they appear equal. And there's two different types of balances that we're going to talk about. The first one is symmetrical balance. So that's when we draw this imaginary line, um, whether it's down the front like this, or if we were to draw it across like this, um, but it's when it's going to look symmetrical, it's gonna look identical on both sides. So these two are examples right here. If I were to draw an imaginary line right down this garment, right down the center where like the buttons are, this is identical on both sides. They both have the same vertical stripes, they both have the same um, pocket horizontal stripes. They both have pockets on both sides, the ties in the center. Uh, her sleeve length is the same. Her lapel and collars are the same. That is identical. Same thing with this hoodie right here. If I were to draw a straight line starting either at the ties right here, or even at the top of the hood, and just cut it straight down, it is identical on both sides. So that's what symmetrical is, is identical on both sides. The other type of balance we're going to look at real quick is when... It's called asymmetrical balance, and that's when it appears to look the same, um, but it's not identical. So we still have a sense of balance. So let's take a look at this first example. If I were to cut this down the center exactly like this, you still see that she still has technically two sleeveless kind of arm covers. One just happens to be a thinner solid white. This one is too thin thin black stripes that make up a wider arm, like a shoulder strap, so to speak. So this is an appearance of balance. As this cuts down, we have um, the black over here that kind of counterbalances with the black that's up here. And then you have the blue skirt, which for the most part, the blue skirt actually is more symmetrical. But this outfit in general appears I'm using air quotes, but you guys obviously can't see that. <laughs> but it appears to look balanced on each side. So it's when we have the kind of appearance, think of it that way, the appearance of balance um, is asymmetrical. So it feels balanced even though it's not identical. Over here on this side, it's kind of the same idea. If we were to cut this straight down the middle, yeah, it's higher up over here on this kind of left leg and it shows a little bit more. However, it's a little bit higher. The point up at the top is higher more on the right side of the model. So if you were to cut that down, you have a high point here, but you also have a high point over here. So that's what we're kind of looking at with this balance. And that's basically what you need to know about balance. So we're going to move on to emphasis. Emphasis is a really fun one because it is what's going to be your main focal point. This is just like you've taken in art classes. Um, this It's going to be the interesting or unique part of it. Um, we typically use emphasis to highlight your best feature and draw attention away from your unwanted area. So um, if you feel that you have a wider waist and that's not what you want to draw attention to, then maybe you would draw attention to more of your shoulders or your legs. So that's where we would want to put our emphasis. Let's say that you have a smaller waist and you want it to make it appear to look smaller, um, then we would actually put the emphasis right above or right below our waist so then the waist looks the tiniest. Um, it can be accomplished with any element of design, so we can use emphasis by using um, color, by using lines, textures, um, any type of element that we've already gone over can be what your focus is on any garment or any outfit in general. And we also know that it can be accomplished by with accessories. So you can use purses or handbags, shoes, makeup, hair, sunglasses, rings, jewelry, anything like that can also be the emphasis. So in this first example right here, we use color as the emphasis. She has a white shirt. She has, for the most part, white shoes. She has a very simple hairstyle, very simple sunglasses. But boom, you see this bright color. Um, and so that that's how we use color for emphasis on here. Um, with these two gentlemen right here, we're using emphasis uh, through color as well. Because again, white shirts, kind of basic white shirts, uh, basic 
shoes, white socks, and then you have pops of color in the pants and the shorts. However, we're also using different types of shapes as well. So if you look kind of closer within these pants, you've got the different shapes, um, the kind of bright yellow and the hot pink. And then over here, you have a white background with blue. And then you can also say in this one as well that the hats are a bit of an emphasis also because uh, they're bright colors. And the last one, we're looking at the example of using an accessory as color. So his entire outfit is black. His shoes are basically white. Um, that's not really the main focus. The main focus in this particular picture, in this particular whole piece, would be the fact that he has a brightly colored skateboard with Bart Simpson on the bottom of it. So that would be the emphasis, an example of using emphasis through accessories. So emphasis through accessories in this example. Emphasis uh, is used through color and through shapes. And this one, emphasis is used through color. The last thing we're going to talk about is harmony. Harmony is basically when the entire outfit makes sense. Um, again, you can use that through color. You can do that through that um, textures or anything like that. So it's the entire garment complements each other. So all the elements are going to relate in a unified way and it conveys a single theme. So kind of think of um, examples could be weddings where you have the bride um, in a white or light colored gown. The groom is typically in a tux and then the bridesmaids um, use either the same types of textures or same colors or coordinating colors to match the wedding theme. It also helps promote individuality and it can be done through um, the use of the outfit, the hair, the shoes, like a combination of all of those. And they also didn't tend to suit the personality of the person wearing them. So in this example right here, not only is the garments in har uh, harmony with the actual just single person itself, but looking at this, you can tell that both of these are in, uh, both of these garments are in harmony together. So they have the coordinating colors. They have the really rich red colors with it, um, the accessories of the gold um, and everything like that. So looking at this picture, you can tell that this is more than likely a formal event. This could be potentially their wedding that they're attending. Um, this could be a type of ball or a gala that they're attending. Um, and you know that if they were to walk in together, they would be a couple that matches. So that is a real quick overview over balance, emphasis, and harmony. And I want you guys to check out the next video and it explains what your assignment's going to be. If you have any questions, remember to email me. We'll see you later.